rig here to cut these cores and the core dimensions for the large box motor is one half inch thick by one and three quarters by one and three quarters so it's a half an inch thick and it is as tall as it is wide so the side is pretty much square that's what's on the cart motor you got to remember the less core you have the less draw you have on the input side but the core has to be big enough to cover the size of the magnet you're using or at the very least this is inch and three quarter the magnets are two inches so with this cap on the ends it covers the two inch span you don't want the wires you don't want the core so small that the wires are actually over the magnets that'll mess some things up and so you want to make sure they're this is the best size I found with the number 18 wire so so what I have here is a jig to cut this and you might have seen this in another video but basically this is an, part of an e-core uh, similar to this but I've already cut this part off here and used it in another motor so what I have is basically a T instead of an E shape and uh, once you got this measure, measured out you know I'm using a, a little angle brace that come off an appliance I think to, to guide the saw blade and what you're trying to do is make sure these are all perfectly flush so when you stick the blade in here once you start cutting it won't be an issue but that first time those have to be nice and square so you slide the blade in like this as you can see there and I'm using this as a brace and this is a brace because these are plates and they're not even stuck together anymore so this way they don't move and the other additional part of that is hang on a minute don't forget these that with this jig I can basically rest this on my hand like that you have a lot of these cores to cut you have hours of cutting to do with the, something like this obviously if you have the money take the core down and have it water jetted and cut the core is going to be better you won't have to cut them yourself and it's a whole lot easier than doing this but this is all about being able to do this yourself so it's kind of expensive to get it water jetted but this is an easy way to do it and the last time I cut a bunch of these I went through a whole pack of these blades so you know it's uh, pretty tough on your tools so but basically you can rest that like that okay so we cut through this side here now if you want to build a small motor like the mini that I have this is what I use for that it's I didn't you actually use the one with the hole but if it's not facing toward the motor it's probably okay and once it's cut this part here will be cut in half and that's going to make two cores so um, it's well worth the effort Okay, I managed to get all the cores cut here. Uh, this is cores for one of the big box motors and for to finish up the small box motor ready to go. So I've, I've also managed to put two of the new coils together. So these are the three spares I had from the cart motor. So this is the wrap that will be you can see here that they're all twisted everything's ready to make a lot of these modular co coils so this is the new model um, I thought well I'll use the kiss kiss approach here and we'll just keep it simple nothing fancy easy to build easy to construct so this is the new model that will be on every box motor that comes out and if I wanted to extend this I could make the plastic wider 
run this plastic along the edge or I could make it thicker this way but this dimension here which is four and a quarter is not going to change that way the coils are interchangeable between the different size box motors so basically this is the new coil One thing you want to do is the chances of you breaking a power wire is, is very slim, but you could actually twist and break the, the trigger wire. So before you go to all the trouble, you want to check continuity on your trigger wire. So by doing that, you're, you're sure that the trigger wire is not damaged in the twisting process. Okay, now I've got the width cut. Now what I'm going to do is grind this half round on this before I cut them to size. So so what you're going to do here is you want to angle grind What I'm doing is I'm angle grinding at a 45 on that angle, and then I'll go along and round it afterwards. I'm just using a regular grinding wheel. Even a buffing wheel will cut through this plastic, though, so grinding wheel's a little faster. Okay, now if we can see, we've got that kind of shaped. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just where the wire wraps around. You want it to have some shape. So. It could even work regular square if you didn't want to go through all this trouble. But this makes it a little easier to wind the wire, the coil around the wire, around the, around the frame, so, around the core, excuse me. Okay, so you can see it's not really, it's not really that much that I'm doing. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I've been cranking away here, and I wanted to give you a quick look here. They're moving right along. But what I wanted to show you here is uh, this core. Um, there's only so many that can be made from the center of the transformer plate. This is made from the sides of the E-core. And what I did is I staggered them. So I put two this way, put a little resin on it, uh, like you would use for fiberglass, uh, the resin uh, mix, coated it, and then stuck two more facing the opposite way, so they're facing this way. And I staggered that pattern, and that created a good solid core. You can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but each, every other one is, is a cross pattern, so the two pieces off of the corner of the e-core are glued down side by side like this all the way through the stack 
I wanted to show everybody here. This, you know, the top of this right here is not even close to being straight. Sometimes stuff like this happens. I don't know what happened when I cut it, why it came out that way, but uh, I want to show you this is okay to use. I would put it on the back. So when you square it up, you use these posts to square it up. And when you tighten it down, see, it won't matter about that little bit. And so, um, you know, these things happen. So uh, don't you don't have to scrap it. it it'll work just fine. So just make sure you get it in there good and square and you get the wrappings on there tight enough to, to not matter. So, so let's go, and, go over and show you that. You know, even if it's a little botched on the cut, because let's face it, when you're cutting this stuff with hand tools and it's not highly machined materials, you know, it, it's not always going to be perfect. And, you know, the parts will still work. So, you know, maybe someday we can get all this stuff professionally cut and you can just buy them from a from uh, parts online but obviously that's not today so so you can see how that flexes back and forth I think what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to put glue down in here to help reinforce that but see I, I'm putting the cut side the side that was professionally cut out so that way everything's nice and smooth on the top so Continue to wrap this and ensure that I can get it as tight as possible. I had already wrapped these cores before, thinking I'll, if I wrap it, you know, I won't have to deal with all this stuff. But there again, things don't always go as planned. By wrapping it, that meant that I would have to cut the wraps off of the face, and that kind of defeated the purpose. So I just went ahead and pull the tape off make so I can get the orientation right for the face and wrap it on there like that now what I'm going to do here is grind that face down because that is the high point and then this one will be ground down to where it's flush with that so that we can then mount the back plate So. I'm sure this point is the start point. So what happened here with this thing is uh, I just wasn't paying enough attention. And when I cut it, it, it kind of trailed down. Even though I used a jig to cut it, there was a gap and the gap in the jig was insufficient to keep this straight. It couldn't put any friction on the side and obviously that was enough to cause that to happen.